Hi, this is Mary again, and this is Dreamy Goat Design Studio video on dyeing with safflower. Now, this is all part of the yellow study group, the first study group. As a group, we covered Osage Orange, and then I showed you well, and now I'm going to show you safflower as an option. Remember, you don't have to dye it, dye with it, but when you do, you have this video and my directions posted onto the group, uh, the group's website to help you through. Safflower is really a fun and easy flower to use. Let me show you what it looks like. It is, well there's a million petals in here and you can see how fine they are and you can see how even just squeezing it, look at how yellow my hands become. I don't know whether this means that the flower is all that light fast or water fast, we will find out, but um, I do know that it gives its color up very, very easily, which makes it a pleasure to dye with. I also know it has kind of an oily feel, which makes sense because, yes, it is the basis uh, for safflower oil. So, how do we do this? Well, we weigh out the flower at 100% weight of goods. So if you have a pound of fiber, of course, you're going to have a pound of the safflower. You soak the flower for one hour in cool water. Just tap water will work. So here I am soaking the flower in just a regular old plastic pail. And I want to show you how beautiful the color is. Look at that. All right. And after an hour, just soaking in the cool water, I'm going to decant it into my dye pot. And decanting simply means I'm going to filter out or separate out the sodden mass of flour from the liquor, from the dye liquor. There's only one thing you want to think about when you work with safflower, when you decant it. Uh, I have read instructions that says to put it in the pillowcase. That is the flour, put it in the pillowcase and soak it that way. And I've never been keen on using a pillowcase for that. So the way I do it is I just create kind of a safety net here. Now actually, let me show you first the dye pot because I've already done this process once. Okay. Lose my props here. Look at look at the dye liquor. Isn't that something? And yes, it has sediment in it, but it's not too bad. Anyway, this is the second soaking. You will do this a total of three times. Let me show you how to decant each time. Now I call this my safety net. And that's just in case I drop something, it doesn't go right into the dye bath. So here I go. Here is my kind of fine mesh sieve. Here is my slop. I want to get that liquor without the little flour. So this is what I do. And by the way, this little cheapy colander and this little cheapy sieve, which is pretty fine mesh, come from a, an Asian supermarket. Any Asian supermarket is worth stopping at if you're looking for inexpensive and very practical tools for dyeing. Seems like they always have the best little gadget you can use. So see what I'm doing? I'm basically just squeezing out the flour. And then, of course, I'll put the flour back into my pail. I'll add more water, and for a third time now, I will soak it for an hour and then decant its beautiful yellow liquid. And then I am ready to dye. So if I have to, and I will, I will add more water to my dye pot. I can tell even with the third decanting, I'll need more liquid, so I'll add whatever it is I need. I will then add my fiber, and I will simmer my fiber for, I'll bring it, take an hour, you know, take it slowly. Yellow doesn't like to be heated up too quickly. Uh, I'll simmer it at about 180 up to 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, hold it for about an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then cool it overnight. When I'm done tomorrow, well, you'll see the results tomorrow in our second day of uh, recording. And I will also show you a second dye bath of safflower. So I think I've covered everything you need to know. Instructions will be posted on the, the group. Yes, I want to review my 
videographer just pointed this out. Here's your review. 100% weight of goods. Soak in cool water. Decant. Repeat the process two times more for a total of three times. You add your dye liquor into your pot and then you basically simmer 180 to 200 degrees for up to 60 minutes. And by the way, this heating with the fiber in your dye pot is the only time you ever heat safflower, which is so cool. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.